Jan Siemens, Heidelberg University Hospital. Inducing hypothermia, harnessing the beneficial effects of low body temperature on diverse disease states. Good afternoon, everybody. So my team and I are interested in understanding how our body regulates, finally regulates our core temperature to 37 degrees. So why is this interesting? Well, if we were to understand the system, we could manipulate it and, for example, induce cooling, hypothermia, which, had, which would have beneficial effects and prevent tissue damage, for example, uh, during heart attack trauma and so on. So what does it need to do this, to accomplish this? Well, first of all, we would need to understand the makeup of the cells that, that uh, constitute our um, thermostat. So the thermostat resides deep in the brain and it actually operates very similar to our household heatings at home. So if we are too cold, the thermostat triggers signals to uh, induce warming, while when we are too hot, the thermostat triggers signals to induce cooling of the body. For example, by directing flow to the skin surface to dissipate excess heat. Well, how the thermostat does it is currently really unknown. Luckily for us, the mouse, our favorite model system, operates in a very similar way and has the same temperature as we. So now for the first time, we have identified thermostat cells in the brain of the mouse. And we actually also, additionally, were able, next please, um, to induce a genetic switch that allows us to really, um, next, <clears throat> turn these cells on and off to our liking. And you asked, we asked a simple question, what happens to the core temperature if we really um, now um, uh, induce these cells to, to be activated? So in this movie, you can see first the cells are off. The mouse in this infrared image is nice and warm. The tail is cold. And now we switch these neurons on and you see the, immediately the tail heats up, the mouse dissipates heat, it distributes the heat to the environment, the mouse quickly loses heat, it's cold after an hour, and after two hours it has lost 10 degrees core temperature. The best thing is, if we switch the neurons back off, the process is completely reversible. The mouse, after a few hours, is back up and running, completely rewarmed. And so essentially what I've shown you here, next please, um, um, the mouse, um, <clears throat> we have established a mouse model system that reversibly allows us to cool and heat a mouse. And this is very timely now. We just published this in this week's current issue of Science. And <clears throat> now, essentially, what we can do is use this model to really reversibly um, study the beneficial effects of hypothermia on diverse disease states, such as trauma, cardiac arrest, and other pathologies. So with this, I'd like to thank you for the, your attention, and I hand over to the next speaker.